Hey everyone, Clay Plays Games here, and today I am back with more Helldivers. This game is so much fun. Most of y'all know how much fun I've been having with this game recently, and if you haven't seen any of my videos before on this game, I highly recommend y'all go checking out the previous videos. But before we hop into this one though, if y'all enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below. So let's get into it. Last episode, I kind of failed several times and then tried to get my redemption through a level one easy planet. And I still feel a little bad because I want to get that one mission done where I failed and that was on Chara. But I want to get kind of a practice, you know, practice game going. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just do two, I'll, I'll do two missions today. Yeah, that'll be pretty simple, especially with it being just to retrieve the boxes. That, that seems pretty simple. I'm hoping for a pretty simple game. Uh, I am a level five now. I far, like I, I did a few small missions beforehand. So I'm going to hop in the pod. And try and get this done as quickly as possible. Now there's two of these, but I don't know if one's more important. So I'm just going to drop right next to the first one that's close to the drop-off zone. And hopefully go on from there. Most weapons have some sort of spread that will make full auto-fire ineffective. Okay. Pretty simple. And... Do I, can I immediately kind of go ahead and... Yeah, that wasn't going to happen for y'all. I'm sorry. But not today. I need to go ahead and reload that. That's true. Okay. So, just head on up. And go ahead and deposit this one. And we'll probably have to head on over to the other one. And just drop it off in the same spot. That's okay. Um, but also, for anyone that doesn't know what this game is. This is a game... Essentially a player versus environment style game where you are defending your home planet super earth from Pretty much rope. I would say robots, but like robots bugs slash aliens Oh, come on drop dead already. Oh I see you Thought I wasn't paying attention Okay, we got to head on All right, pretty simple. But now what this game is, is a player versus environment style game from a top-down angle. I know Helldivers 2 is a lot more different than that, but I do not have Helldivers 2 yet. Uh, one day I will have that game and that will be the first thing I play. Okay, I didn't know where the other one was, so I'm going to ignore it for now. And hopefully no alarm will be sounded off. Okay, doing good so far. It's a nice, easy warm-up. That's always what I'm kind of looking for, just to get things started. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, accomplish a level through today. I might not even be able to. Who knows? So, and that's why I messed up, because I messed up a lot last, last episode. So I'm hoping to get my redemption arc and level up some more while we're at it. Uh, but this game is all about liberating planets from these alien cyborg like beings and there, there's a lot of lore in, with involved with this game unfortunately i don't know everything about it but i got into this game from listening to um uh, markiplier's podcast distractable on spotify like i was just watching one of their videos recently well i want to say recently when i first like before i got the game uh they were talking about helldivers 2 and oh come on This pistol is a little slow. Oh, no, 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 no. Not today. Oh. Tough, tough buggers. But I think we got it. I think we're doing all right for now. All right, bring it on.
All right, I need to swap over to the other one. And then head over to the evacuation station. But no, I got into this game because of Markiplier and the podcast Distractable. They were talking about it, just kind of going over Helldivers 2. And I had seen the game before, but was never really into it. And as they were describing it, I was suddenly more into it, even though I had not seen anything on the game. And I just thought that was kind of incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of these down. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Oh, come on. No, I'm not dropping dead that easily. Alright, I need to stay out of that turret's way. They were talking about it, describing what the game was like. Where you're playing this kind of online game. Like, it can be done offline, except Helldivers 2 can't be. Uh, th this is the first game. So, this one can be done locally, just by yourself, if you wanted to. But you are liber liberating all these planets in the galaxy. Or in the current, like, uh, I think it is the galaxy that you're in. But you're just liber liberating planets from aliens, robots, cyborgs, and uh, pretty much kind of uh, spreading democracy, if you will. And I think it's just kind of a good way of defending Super Earth, which is kind of the main base, the main order of operations. But, okay, the turret's doing good. But no, just the way that they were describing it, like where you pretty much are playing it, but the more you play it, the more uh, work has to be done. So like you could be, uh, I would say it's like a live game, like even when you're off, it's still going on, but it's like, it's almost like it's a, a live server no matter when you're on or off. So like as you're playing uh, and like, you've got all this work being done, liberating a planet and it, it shows where it wants it actually shows up. I can explain it better. Um, okay, it didn't show up the count thing. But it's the, uh, the liberation count at the end. I'm going to do this final mission. Try and get it done. I, I should be fine. It, it's a good warm-up. Trying to get everything in order. Okay, retreat, achieve, and disarm. Retrieve and disarm. So, first off is the box. Because that, that's just kind of the, the main order of things. And then I will try and disarm the fuses. Because I've had moments where I've messed up on those. They're pretty tough when you're not focused. But no, just the idea of like... Like if people start losing their missions, you lose the world. And you kind of have to start over. It's like, holy crap, that's very interesting. So I'm just going to head straight up and go this way. And hopefully kind of do the best that I can. I am curious though about all the skeletons that are, you know, spread out on the planet. Because it's like, okay, what kind of beasts are, you know, lying beneath? What kind of creatures have I not run into yet? Because for those that I've watched, these are pretty much the simple levels. And that's because I'm still kind of building myself up. In the game, getting my levels up, farming around, and just having fun with it. Okay, we got that done. I'm going to head over to the disarm ink section. But just look at the look at these little like skeletons. Like, what made those? Okay, I would almost say I throw down the turret, but it's not needed. I just gotta be... I just gotta pay attention. Okay, well, I did a little too late. Oh, come on now. This is why I need the turret. How many of these things are going to be... You can't do that to me. OK, 
Can you give me a break, please, game? Okay, clearly not. Okay, take my time with it. One diffused. I'm trying to kind of speed run through. Okay, hold on. Yeah, gum it. I had it. I was so focused. Okay, I got this one. Oh, come on. Okay. Dad, gum it. I'm doing so good for what I'm like from where I'm at. And it just wants to really get in my way. Okay. One da 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 da. Okay. The disarming part takes a minute. And I need to I'm going to throw uh, my ammo stuff down. Hold on to my turret. That should be fine. This game is rough. Like, I gotta be honest. It's a lot of fun, but it can be rough at times. And especially if you're not careful, like, you just kind of have to... Yeah, okay. Come on. I'm just waiting at this point. All right, I'm going to keep going before any more of these things show up. I'm actually going to run over to the exit. For liberty! All right. Turret. Nope, not enough time to get the turret down. All right. Not nah, shoot. Okay. Okay, we got that. Okay, it takes me a second to get all the stuff, you know, situated in place. I just hit the turret for a lot of damage. That was a bad idea. I, don't, I haven't even made it to the one minute mark yet, and my turret's already less than half. I'm just gonna not aim in that direction of the turret. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. All right, we got one minute left. We can hang in there. We might be able to get to a level six. We will see. But, man, this this game can be tough at times if you're not careful. Now, I've said this before. You need a strategy with it. But, man, can it really, you know, kick ass. This game is so much fun. I, I really, like, I highly recommend this to y'all. Like, definitely a game worth buying and playing. Only 20 bucks, or at least in the PlayStation Store, it's only 20 bucks. Uh, it's the uh, it's the Hell Divers Dive Harder version. Uh, I think the deluxe, like some kind of like deluxe edition or whatever version of it it is, is like 40 bucks. But you don't have to worry about that. The you pretty much get the I, I don't I wouldn't worry about any, like, any skins or anything unless that's kind of the thing you're into. But if you just want to play the game for what it is, you know, get the 20 dollar version. It's so much fun. All right, and I'm going to move out of the way of the shuttle before I get squashed like a bug. Say hello to democracy. Say hello to democracy. All right, I feel good about that one. It it took me a minute to get some of those things done. Whew. I love it. I love this game. Definitely worth playing in your free time. If you ever have any kind of free time at all, and you just need a, a nice little action shooter game, this this works. Hell Divers works. Oh, we got a promotion. We have now become Staff Sergeant. I'm curious what all the ranks are. We've got 
uh, MLF Woodland. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be pronounced as. We got uh, we conquered Setia. So, but this was uh, what I was talking about with the influence, the community influence. This is what like all of the players players around the world will like would add on to. And so, like the more of this you unlock, I believe it just, uh, or the more of that you do, once you finish that, I think a new area can be conquered and done. I think that's the idea. Uh, but I don't know like what all the other sh systems would be, but it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun though. Oh, uh, but we got a new threat. Vandalon six or five? I think that's five. Um, but we've got Chara here. This was the one I've had so much trouble with. Uh, but I did want to mention that I, I did go back in and do the first mission and actually got completed. Mission two, though, that one's going to be a tough one. I tried doing it and I failed miserably. And I, I got to say, I might not come back to this place for a while. We'll see how it goes. But like this one's going to be this one's a tough one. So I'm not going to stick around with it for much longer. But I would like to go down to Ol Olimac 7, 6. I don't know what exactly the, the one that one is. Ooh, but I do want to try activate and defend the launch pad. I don't think I've done one of these in a while. Just a quick little mission. Get some extra XP. Alright. I might change my weapon to the breaker instead of the intruder. It just depends on what kind of weapon you prefer. I do know that the one the intruder is kind of I don't know, it's rough on the spread. Alright. How did I fit in that thing? You ever think about that? It's like Alright. So this should be it. I do love the environment. I've talked about it before, but the environment here is insane. I won't fire the turret yet. Not worth the time. Okay. So I've got all of this defended pretty much. I don't need to worry about wasting the turret. Don't need to like, waste any kind of energy on it. Oh, but I am hearing some footsteps. Oh, where are you at? No, get over here. You're mine. Your mind for the taking. All right. So this one just needed a minute. Uh, I feel like me not letting them sound off the alarm is what is just kind of keeping me at bay for now, and kind of making it smooth sailing from here. Okay. Well, I messed that one up. Ooh, straight line down the middle. Come on. Make it a little more challenging. I do like that it's just instant explosions from them. Uh, just like rise, you aim, aim them down, aim them down those sights. They just kind of take a whole face full of lead. All right, 10 more seconds. Reloading. You did your best, but it wasn't enough. All right, rocket has been defended. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Nope, 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 nope. I do need to hurry up, though, and get... Okay. Okay, it's kind of like bottom right-ish. We can make it. No, you are not gimme with the lava. The lava's another one that I've had issues with. Alright. But we should be good. Should be fine. Just a little over here to the rot. And it's straight home from there. Alright. Yeah, take that liberty to the face. Extraction confirmed. Okay. Out. 
All right, that's fun. Nope. Okay, I just need to stay out of the uh, the turret's way for this one. Okay, and while we're at it, let me go ahead and throw down the ammo thing over here. Because I know I'm going to need that here soon. Come on. Okay, my aiming is getting worse. Oh, wait. I was waiting for... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh! Okay. We're fine. Ignore... Ignore the turret, everybody. It's not gonna bother me none. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. That's the easiest part about it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm kind of going, you know, a little round the rosy here with the turret. Alright. Alright, they shouldn't mess with us anymore. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not expecting them to, you know, leave anytime soon. Alright, we got the rest of them. Gotta quickly get out of here before anything else happens. We made it home safe, we made it home alive. No accidental deaths on my part. This game is insane. I know that what I've been doing is just a simple quest, but even the simple quests feel like the most difficult sometimes. But man, am I having fun with it. So much fun. Yeah, it just gives a little XP. Although, I do want to quickly check out the upgrades. I haven't really upgraded much. Uh, research points... This might be what I need to use from now on. Weapons, perks. Oh, there's so much here that I'm not really doing with. Recoil absorber, extended magazine. That could be useful. Extended mag, burst fire. Oh, wait, I thought I... Wait, oh, I bought the extended magazine? This entire time, I thought I got the armor-piercing ammunition. Ammunition. I keep saying ammunition. Uh, but I will... I won't worry about the bayonet, but I will get the recoil observer. Absorber. That sounds weird to say, but I'll also get the extended magazine. Kind of buff the Liberator out a little bit. But that that's, that's looking good so far. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I might farm a little more after this. But hopefully you all enjoyed this Helldivers video. If y'all did and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below. And I will see you on the next one. So, with all that being said, thank y'all so much for watching this video and have a great day.